hey, hey, good morning, afternoon. Welcome back. This is Lesson 2, Flip Learning Pros, Cons, and How to Design a Good PowerPoint Slide. So flip learning definitely has its pros, its benefits. For one, flip learning allows the students to pause the video. While in a traditional classroom, the lecturer has to speak at an even pace and quote, teach to the middle, a flipped lecture allows students to pause and rewind their teacher. Also, a flipped lecture allows the teacher to give a lot more one-on-one -on -one instruction to students to answer students' specific questions or concerns on an individual basis while they do some kind of student-centered activity. Also, it can be very motivating for students and it will allow a lot more students to have autonomy with their learning by giving them the responsibility to view the video lecture and prepare themselves for class. Students get a lot more ownership over their learning. And finally, flipped learning gives students the responsibility and accountability to form their own questions. Rather than sitting passively and potentially falling asleep in class, students have to watch the video lecture and really think about the content and produce their own questions. In one study, one of the students in a flipped lecture in university once said that moving direct instruction outside the classroom makes room for more engaging students in communicative tasks and interaction in the target language. In other words, by moving the lecturing part of the course outside of class, students have a lot more flexibility and autonomy inside of the class. However, critics also point to the fact that flipped learning has its downsides, its challenges that must be addressed in order to develop an effective curriculum. For one, it's time consuming. It can take the teacher a lot of time in order to prepare the video lecture. And while this might get easier over time as the teacher gets more experience, it is probably a little bit more time intensive than a more traditional curriculum setup. In addition, some people point to a cultural critique of flipped learning. In other words, in Korea and in most countries, to be honest, a lot of students just are not used to a flipped lecture format. They are very accustomed to being able to walk into class and sit and passively take notes. But flipped learning challenges students to engage with school differently. So while it can be the student's benefit over time, at least in the short run, it can be very difficult for them. And finally, when it comes to large classes, think about classes between 30 or 50 people, it can be difficult to engage the students in student-centered work. So flipped learning can be difficult to implement in class because one teacher can have a difficulty monitoring 30 to 50 students.